all welcome to tech Tapture. so in this video we are going to discuss about a google cloud bigquery so which is a very famous google cloud service so this is completely managed a google data warehouse and there are a lot of bi applications are built on top of a bigquery so let's get started with what is a bigquery first and then we'll go to the bigquery hands-on so we'll see what is BigQuery? So BigQuery is fully managed enterprise data warehouse that helps you to manage and analyze your data with a built-in features like machine learning, geospatial analysis and business intelligence. So this is a fully managed a Google Cloud data warehouse where you can store your large amount of data and this is a completely serverless. You don't need to manage any kind of a backend instance or a compute instance for this BigQuery. You just need to create your data set and table and put your data into that and the rest of the infrastructure will be taken care by the Google. So here are some key features for storage. So storage is completely managed service and you don't need to provision storage resource or reserve any units for the resource. So even if you don't need to allocate any size, okay, I need to store 10 GB of data, 15 GB of data. So you can store any kind of data. You just keep bumping your data into the BigQuery and that is the data warehouse. So the, it is completely uh, durable. So you can see the durability percentage in 99.119. So now what is a durability in database? So whenever you are storing in the, uh, whenever you are storing data into the database, then there should be some guarantee. Okay. So I'm storing the data now. It should be available in 10 years as well. If I'm not deleting it manually or it won't get disappeared or it won't get erased accidentally. Okay. So that is something a uh, durability. So we need a, uh, that confidence while storing our data and data warehouse are basically used to store your historical data. So suppose if you want to store the data for 10 years or 20 years, you have to store it into the data warehouse and BigQuery is one of the famous data warehouse provided by Google Cloud because it gives a durability data, durability for your data, which is a 99.119 in annual durability. But you can consider if you are storing your data, it will be always there in your BigQuery until and unless you delete it okay so it is a very great features again and encrypted so whenever you're storing data into the BigQuery your data is always encrypted and written into the disk so you can also create your own key in KMS and you can use a customer managed encryption key as well so that has some key features and it is efficient so that is optimized for analytical workload. So when you are dealing with the machine learning, when you are dealing with the data analytics or BI application, so this is very faster and efficient to use a BigQuery. Now this is a overall architecture of BigQuery. So it consists of high storage, replicated storage. So that's why it's a highly available and there is a set of compute instances at the backend to perform your query job. So whenever you are executing query, it will execute as a job on your compute so i don't want to go in detail in this architecture because a bigquery is managed service and we don't need to deal anything with this backend infrastructure okay so there are some terminologies we need to understand in bigquery uh, sorry in bigquery so first is a data set so data sets is nothing but a collection of table so whenever you are going on a database server in relational database you first create your database and inside database you create your tables but in BigQuery we have concept of data set where we can create a collection of table as a one data set so suppose I want to create uh, multiple tables related to the finance data so I will create one finance data set and I will add all my tables related to finance into that finance data set then after data set we have tables so I think you might have already known about tables so it is uh, data stored in a form of rows and column then views it is a virtual table defined by a sql query and then jobs it is action run by your big query on your behalf so it can be executing your select query it can be loading data it can be exporting data or it can be copying data so anything is act as a job in big query now one core concept while storing data in big query so that is a columnar storage so big query is a faster because it has built on a concept on a columnar storage so just take an example you can see the traditional relational database system where it is having a row oriented storage so anywhere you are inserting data in a row format it will store a row by row but if you see the columnar storage in bigquery 
so it will store data in a columnar way so complete details of a one column it will store at one place then a second column details it will store at a one place so it will store data column by column and it will scan also column by column so i will explain you how it works when i am working on a bigquery partitioning in the next video so that's a basic quick introduction about bigquery now we'll go to the cloud console and we'll try to play around with a bigquery in a cloud console so let's go to the next video